Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everyone. You can always take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. Okay. And if you're interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay. So, let's get started for you, Virgo. What's been going on with Virgo and their person in mind? The person on Virgo's mind. What's been going on with Virgo and Virgo's person in mind here. What's been going on here? Virgo and the person on Virgo's mind. Okay. I see that in the past you could have cut cords with this person or somebody was just very um, em emotionally detached from themselves. You could have distanced yourself emotionally, cut off your emotions um completely from this person here we have the boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on and closure of issues so i see that there's something that you have left behind you cut out here um you could have cut this person out of your life and um it could have been a relationship you guys um, could have been in a relationship together or this is somebody where you met at a time where there was a celebration and um, or this is somebody who is very well known in like the community here it could be a Libra Gemini or Aquarius so I see that there's a new love interest for you guys. For some of you, you've met somebody new or you're about to meet somebody new. There's a new love interest here with that Ace of Cups um, to kind of explore things a little bit further and see where things can end up going. But I see that in the past, somebody has been um, showing up as they don't care, but deep inside, this person really, really... Um, does care a lot and there's they have a lot of love but they're showing up as emotionally detached or that could be you here i'm seeing that there was um cords that was cut here because things were getting very exhausting and difficult and um there was uh there was arguments or pettiness and just not being able to see eye to eye with each other So in your person's energy, here we have the snake, uh, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So let's take a look here. I'm seeing a tattoo that has like fire in it, um, like flames, orange, red flames. So let's see what your person is thinking and feeling. In terms of you and this situation, what is um, the person on Virgo's mind thinking and feeling here? Okay, so I'm going to take the first card here, which was the tower. Um, so your person is in total shock, okay? So their reaction is priceless right now. They are in total shock here. I see this person really underestimated you. They didn't think that you would cut them off the way that you did. Um, and they are just shook, okay? They are shook with that tower card there. So let's clarify that. Let's clarify the tower, please. Clarify the tower. Okay. 
one more shuffle okay we have the queen of swords yeah so this person is surprised that you changed the way that you did and that you basically um turned cold towards them they are they feel the wrath okay they feel that distance from you and um this person even feels like you were a little bit malicious towards them. So I'm getting like for some of you even told this person off. Like you just told this person off. You had the energy to tell this person off. And then you cut cords just like that. And your person, they are a little bit mad at you. They're upset. They feel like it was malicious here with that Eight of Cups. So their whole world is rocked right now. You just rocked their world. And um, they are definitely in their feelings about it because they put a lot of emotional investment into this with that Eight of Cups. And um, this person feels like maybe they just weren't enough. And at this point, like, they're really surprised that you just walked away and that it was... Not seeing eye to eye was enough for you to walk away from this person. So they really didn't expect that from you. And they're really just in sh total, complete shock right now. So they are. that's the only word I can really describe it is that they're just like shook. Uh, in your energy, we have the cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So let's take a look. And what you're thinking, what you're feeling towards you, your person here, this whole situation. Okay, we got two cards. Uh, justice. So you're at this point right now where you're like, come to me correct or don't come to me at all. Um, you, you could still be holding a grudge towards this person here with that four of pentacles. And I'm seeing that basically... Um, you're looking at things from all different perspectives as well, not just like your own perspective, but you've also taken the time to put yourself in this person's shoes and you're still, um, I see that this person could have been ignoring you or somebody could be on their phone a lot and it really started to like piss you off to the point where um, you just got fed up with it. So I definitely see that you're you've made a decision right now to you're you, you're over, you're keep thinking about this decision that you made. So I'm seeing you replaying events over in your head. Um, you're just you keep replaying the decision that you and that you made with this person. You keep um, thinking about it, whether or not it was a good decision, if it was the right decision, because I get that you're a little bit unsure if it was the right route to take. Here with that two of swords, um, you're a little bit confused about whether or not that was the right thing to do. But at the end of the day, you want this person to come towards you um, with the facts. Okay, so you look for the facts here. And you're just, your whole story in general is like you have the facts to this. And just to let you know, you know exactly... Um, exactly what you have to offer you know that you're an attractive person and you know that there's other people out there that would give you um, more attention here so for some of you felt like this person just wasn't giving you enough attention or enough time or maybe they were even just being a little bit like closed off or um, I'm hearing cheap <laughs> for some of you this person was even a little bit cheap so in the near future we have the runner Runner in codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So let's take a look at the near future for you, uh, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Libra. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. So what's in the near future for, for Virgo? The Five of Pentacles. So... I'm seeing that for some of you, you're, you may be struggling with the decision that you've made. You may be feeling like ignored or left out in the cold by this person because this person is upset at you. Um, I see that for, 
I see that somebody here is listening to their ego. Like, this person is like, how could you do that to me? And for some of you, you want to have another chance with this person. Um, I'm not getting that for everybody, but for some of you, you want another chance with this person and this person is still upset at you. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles here. So somebody is being ignored or giving this, the silent treatment. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here with that King of Wands. So I see that somebody's trying to apologize. Somebody's trying to make an apology. Or somebody is wanting to um, do something small to try to make up for what happened here. And I see the other person might not be accepting of it. But I do get that somebody's taking action towards trying to make things right and trying to mend things and have like a peaceful resolution here. Somebody feels like their love is being rejected. But I do see that um, there's communication coming in. There's communication coming in here uh, very, very soon, very quickly with that Knight of Wands here. But it And it looks like to me that um, this is somebody who's been like in and out of your life here. Somebody who hasn't been totally consistent, but is wanting to uh, take action towards you. Or you could be taking on this energy. You could be going for what it is that you want and you desire. Trying to apologize for what has happened. In the outcome, we have the axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So I kind of feel like right now is like the silent treatment. So let's look at your outcome with this person, Virgo. The page of swords. So we need to talk. This is my we need to talk card. Um, I do see that there is... Um, some clarity or some knowledge something is coming something is coming to your attention or you're trying to bring something toward to this person's attention here about what is this about okay so it looks like to me that somebody wants to work on themselves, wants to work on their finances and their career here, and wanting to take a break here. So I kind of see that um, for this month, you guys could be taking a break from each other, um, taking the time to heal and to think about things, to uh, have some alone time here. So I kind of feel like you guys are letting this person know that you need some time to be alone. You need to be um, with yourself at this time. And I see that, um, you're going to have this conversation where the other person wants to try to work things out and wants to try to make this work here. But I see that for the most part, um, you're going to be in some sort of separation from this person. You're moving away, but you're letting this person know that, um, you need some time So let's get some details for you guys. There's a lot of uh, air elements. So you could definitely be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay. Sorry. Let's get some details here. We have dating. This is somebody who you have been dating here. I'm seeing that there's something um, in terms of money. It could have to do with legal matters, okay? Legal, legal matters in terms of money that you could be going through. But overall, I see you releasing yourself. I see that you're freeing yourself from something that has been um, holding you back. I see that you're you're starting to enjoy your own freedom and your independence as well so i get that for most of you you're deciding to just stay independent for the time being and be solo 
So let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading for you guys. Okay. Oh, that's too much. Let's do that again. I just want three cards. One to three cards. Is there anything else that we need to know? Oh, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance here. So I, I see that for some of you, you're starting to lose hope in this person. You're starting to um, feel like things are not going to change here. There's some red flags that you have realized. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I see you being cautious um, with this person. And divine timing is at work in your love life with worth waiting for. So I see that you're just needing some more time to really um, think about things more deeper with this person here. Okay? Because there's something that you realized um, where you may not have been getting all of the facts here in the past, but now you do. Now you have something that has come to your attention and uh, you're having a serious conversation with this person where you are letting them know that you need to take a different direction. You need to take a break or something like that or take some time for alone. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you for watching. Bye.